Hey guys, what's going on, Jake here. So it has been indeed a long time since I last posted a video. Um, I think it's been about 11 days now we're looking at, 12 days maybe. And the reason for that is because I spent, um, I got COVID. It was quite bad for the first day. I felt a bit ill for the next three or four days. So I didn't really make anything. I just chilled on Minecraft. Um, and then I kind of was just, you know, I spent the second week of my time off basically just grinding out these swap tokens. <clears throat> and basically grinding FIFA because we're at level 21 now, I think, pretty much. And we're only three weeks into the season. There's still a lot of time left and I'm like half of the way through the XP without even completing the gold stuff as well. Like the gold week stuff and that. But as you can see right now, we open one of the 10 coin packs, which are brilliant for me, eh? Unlike the 100k, 100 player packs. And we get Team of the Week Cancelo, which means that we no longer need Vina or Quadrado, which means we can now waste our fodder on an icon pack. Lovely. Absolutely brilliant. And this video, guys, is probably going to be one of the most jam-packed videos you're going to see from me this year. Because, you know, it's basically just a week of me showing you the important stuff. Here we have Squad Battles Rewards. I haven't played Rivals in two weeks due to just me not being bothered due to the tokens and also illness the first week. And we get Scrimiar, tradable from our Squad Battles Rewards, which is about 16k. Plus the 8k, we make about 25. With other stuff, about 40k from Squad Battles Rewards. Which, if you made that every week, would be brilliant. But right now, as you can see, submitting Fabinho in to get Player of the Month, a Moyes Ken. That is how you say his name, Moyes Ken. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, um, I did this card because it looked absolutely crazy. And I was like, you know what, Muriel, he's still very good. He's just a bit low rated. I want to get someone in who's higher rated to make my team look a bit better. Because, you know, I do kind of care about how good my team looks. I might bring Muriel back, though. But, yeah, as you're about to see here, we also just have a bit of a funny moment here. This is another reason why FIFA is such a shite game. Because look at this. Now, you might be thinking, oh, he just power shots that in. No, 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 no. That that was an own goal because, um, as you're about to see right here, when we go look at the goal, I'm through. I take my time with the shot for some reason with a heavy touch. He slides in and it looks as if I've shot the ball, but his defender's made a slide tackle to go stop corner. So thanks for the help there with the uh, tokens. But yeah, yeah, as you can see, we went and picked up the Poland one um, token. So we've done half of the week two. We've done the whole of week one. We've done the first showcase, three out of four of the second showcase, and two out of four of the third showcase. Um, if you're wondering what else I'm going to be getting with the tokens, I've spent 23. I'm going to be able to get the next, what, 27? Is it actually 27? Wow. Um, I'm not going to be getting all of them, though, because I'm not gonna be buying any of the store ones, because they're just effort. So I'll probably get the 84 plus by 20. And then I'll probably pick up one or two of the players or instead I might just pick up a pick if there's one for 20 tokens. But I don't think there is. I think the cheapest pick's like 25. So yeah, at the end of the day, that is it. But yeah, um, like this is a 12 minute video. This is a long video for me because, you know, I've cut out like a lot. This was like 30 minutes of footage, like, you know. Because I didn't just record everything I did. This was like 30 minutes of collective clips. That I've now edited to 12 and almost 13 minutes. And the problem is I don't actually know if this is going to be short enough to fit into my gal like my files without taking up too much space. So yeah, <laughs> and that might be getting sacrificed today boys. But yeah, as you can see here we've just sped it up to 2 times speed because we've got these useless world cup packs and if you're wondering i'm level seven with the world cup packs i've got about 425 of the players out of the 700 that you would need to get the best rewards and now i don't actually know what you get but at one point i was at a stage where you get an 81 plus times 11 but now i'm at a stage where all i get is a one of four 83 plus player pick and a couple k coins and now I'm just thinking to myself, if I don't get everything up to 11, seven, level 7, I would rather have just had the fucking 81 plus by 11. Because fodder. But yeah, talking about fodder, as you can see there, we managed to get 20 tokens. And um, yeah, we put them into the 83, 84 plus times 20. So an 84 plus times 60 pack is coming your way. When I came into this, I was like, ah, oh, the World Cup icons are very rare from these, but they are possible. So I'm hoping for at least two unique World Cup 
um, World Cup SWAT, uh, World Cup path to World Cup things. I don't know what they're called. But I was hoping for two unique ones of them, and then I was hoping for three informs, and I was like, I'll probably just get three of the same guy. Um, but yeah, we're opening up the packs here that we got from winning 50 games during this promo. Basically all from fucking um, these games. And yeah, from the main pack, we get the three. Um, and we'll probably get like six player picks. Yep, we get six player picks. So yeah, I find them personally very annoying to, you know, claim and stuff. It's like, ah, oh, you know, you've got to just open player picks and stuff. It's just like, you know, I'd rather just have a World Cup mode. I This is like really pointless for me. I just don't like it that much. But it is what it is. Um, the only player that I would actually be tempted to do, and by the way, I've spent most of the fodder I got, would be Messi, because I need like a right winger. But then I'd want to play Messi at front, so I'd probably have to put Moise Keane or Rafael Leal out wide. First, 84 by 20, we get... Mm, Road to World Cup, Nunge. And when I saw this card, I was like, yeah, that's a good card. That is a solid card. I must say that in-game, he looks a bit weak. He feels a bit weak. Um, he's a bit worse than Banaka, but he's not awful. He's solid, I'll keep using him, because I've got Cancelo, so I may as well, because, you know, we've got the Portuguese link up there. It means we don't have to use Jisung Park, but I'll be honest with you, I went and bought a hero to go put into my team to play in the 4 triple two, and I'm just going to say it now, you have to play a very specific way with the 4 triple two, and I did find that out in my last game, because I literally, I was struggling to score... Um, I did win five out of my six games. One of them, the guy left it 0-0. Um, and I got destroyed the game before. And then I came into this game, I was like, right, finally I've scored. It took me 27 minutes. So basically what I did, get the ball down the wing to Chiesa, fake shot stop, or run down the line, ball roll, pass inside to Keane. Keane's in so much space, just score it. Like, don't even bother timing it, it'll just go in. If he moves his keeper near post, if he doesn't far post, and it's just a goal. That's how you play. And I was just, and it's like, that's just boring. I was preferring how I was playing in the 4-3-2-1. And the reason why I switched to 2 is because, you know, you see a load of people now going, oh, 4 3 2 not that good anymore. They're on new gen. They are on new gen. That, that, that's where they've had that massive patch basically killing lengthy. We don't even have lengthy on old gen. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch to 4 triple 2 2 because I'm a fucking sheep. I don't want to play this formation anymore because I haven't, I just don't like it, I've never liked it, the only formations I've ever liked in FIFA, 4-2-3-1 back in the day, and by the way, another fucking Nunes, very annoying, because I've got to put him into an SBC, but the only formations I've ever liked, 4-2-3-1 in like FIFA 20 in the end of FIFA 21, um, 4 one 2 one 2, 2 which I didn't like last year, 4-3-2-1 and 4-4-2, those are the only, and then obviously three backs are also quite cool as well. But those are the only formations I've ever really liked in FIFA. 3-5-2, 4-1-2, 1-2-2, 4-2-3-1 and 4-4-2. Those would be my four. And obviously 4-3-2-1. I think I mentioned that. <clears throat> yeah, 4-1-2-1-2-2, 3-5-2, 4-3-2-1, 4 and 4-4-2. Yeah, no, no, it's five. <clears throat> so you can't have all five of those, but you can have four of them if you want. And if I had to choose for this FIFA, it would probably be the 4-1-2-1-2-2, the 4-3-2-1, the four four two and the four two three one, all the fr all the five back, all the three back. Sorry, instead of that, but <laughs> I like I'm just losing my voice whilst trying to commentate. And meanwhile, we pack a three hundred k cap de via from the World Cup hero pack. So I was that was pretty good. I was like, wow, that's okay. He's probably like a hundred k. No, he's three hundred k because apparently he is the best left back on the game according to a lot of people, and I was just like, yeah, and then I went and used him in game, and I was like, all right, I get it, he's a very solid left back, like, he's just good at everything, and even though he's got low agility and balance, people still use Carl Walker, and he's got low agility and balance, <clears throat> sorry, my throat is literally dying, but yeah, final 84 plus dive by 20, we get, no we get, for Nishash Jonia, cha, here we go, so, we take those, five star skill moves, he'll be a good sub, he's still 40k, and, um, yeah, to be fair, those are the packs opened, pretty anticlimactic, just good fodder, really, at the end of the day, which we then go and waste on a shitty icon pick. Instead of doing this icon pick, we could have done pretty much the whole of Messi. We could have done, not the whole of Messi, we could have done, like, three out of the four squads for Messi. Or the whole of Quadrado or something. But no, instead, we decide to do an icon pack. Because why, 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 you may be asking? Because I'm a moron. Because I am an absolute moron. 
And the only reason I'm saying this, if I'd have got like a left wing storage card, which I saw a lot of, or a George Best or an R9, I would have been going, yep, yeah, best pack ever. It's because of who I get. Um, and basically... Yeah, mid storage card. This card is worse than his baby. If I'd have somehow managed to get baby storage card out of this pack... I'd be going, you know what, I'll use him for a few games. But this Stoichkov, the mid Stoichkov, I think he's got less skill moves, less shooting, less pace, less dribbling. He's got, the only thing he beats the baby on is physicals and passing, which I don't care about because he's shit at them anyway. Oh, but that is it for this video. An absolutely shocking icon pack, a really good hero pack, and some solid 84 by 20s We don't have loads of fodder left. We've got like 85s and stuff. But that's about it. Um, I'll see if I can work towards Messi or if I can get a lucky pack at some point. But if not, then uh, I don't know when the next time I'll upload is. I did start an F1 series Ford Motorsport career. However, my clips are still broken with F1. I've also got a new controller. So I haven't played with that new controller on F1 yet. So don't expect many F1 videos for like uh, quite a while. Because I need to get used to the game on the new controller and stuff. So, yeah. But other than that, um there's nothing else really to talk about i'll try get those episodes up soon if not i'll just you know show you the clips from them at the start of the third race or something because i don't think i'm gonna necessarily number the episodes anymore because there's no real point um and yeah other than that I've, i'm gonna start playing minecraft again this week because i've been playing fifa now for a week straight pretty much a uh, week of grind getting some more tokens and playing squad battles and stuff but other than that that's all I've really got to say. That's all I'm really going to be getting up to. Mainly Minecraft. Probably a bit of F1. Maybe a bit of FIFA here and there. Because I've still got three more rival wins to get. And you won't see the records of the players. Because I forgot to get them. But yeah. Uh, you're going to see for 30 seconds at the end of this video my team. Um, I've repeated myself like six times now. But I think that's all I wanted to say. In terms of other things. And other potential videos that could be going up on the channel basically none unless i get f1 sorted um i if i ever died in my hardcore world i'm well not hardcore world in my minecraft world i'd post a video about a with a tour and then i'd start again and i'd put it all on youtube but yeah i got yumberg i was playing the four triple two it's not been the best for me yumberg's okay one goal two as two assists in like seven games but for a wide cam that's not terrible but yeah, I think I'm going to switch back to the 4 3 2 one because it is just the go. And if you want to see tactics for that, which are still really good, go and check out a previous video with that title. So cheers for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you all in the next one.